welcome to TDL News number 11. This is the video where I try and recap the week's TDL News story in around the five minute mark and catch up with some of the stories that we've got on the site. So this week we've got new builds, broken surface go, Windows Mixed Reality News and a brand new Cortana to look at. So I'm going to start with the Cortana actually because um, this week Microsoft released a new build and running it here on my Surface Go 18922 for Windows Inside and the Fast Ring. It caused a few issues, I'll talk about them in a minute. But what it did include, Microsoft didn't put it in the notes, I've just seen this on a couple of sites, uh, Neowin is one of the, the first ones I saw it, where you could actually launch Cortana, this new version of it. And here is the new version I'm running here, so let me just close it and show you. Best way to do it is just to go to run uh, you can do it from command prompt, and command prompt to type MS Cortana 2 like that and up pops this new UI. You've got to resize it slightly. There you go. You see I've been doing some tests. But there's the weather and uh, yeah, that's it. That's the new Cortana. Now, not only has it got this the input like the, um, the old Cortana, which is there. This is the old Cortana UI with the notebook and you can see it listening there close that off um, But the new one works really well text-based so I've been doing so for the weekend. Let's see what that does And there you can see so you've got this text-based input method now as well Which you kind of kind of before but this it looks much more uh, a neater text-based interface like I said you've still got the, the voice control as well and it does all the stuff like links that we Bing search and uh, the to do app and what are my lists I think that is one of them that I they go so uh, these that's linked in with the Microsoft to do app so you can see it's it links in with the same services it's just got that new feel and and uh, I can imagine me using this more if I can do text based if, commands like you know create an appointment for tomorrow add a reminder just do it straight from Cortana from the text interface I could use that and you still got your notebook connections um, in the way that you would normally have on here so that's new in this in this build now while I was installing this build I did the Surface Go was doing the update and then I picked the device up after the reboot phase and it corrupted the master boot sector uh, so it wouldn't boot up at all gave me a horrible error message um, so I had to then go into um, into get it create a recovery drive USB boot from that and then uh, fix that I fixed it through the command prompt and have to wipe anything didn't lose anything I'll probably write that up at some point but it's um, it, it's a bit of a nasty bug but I, it's the first time I've seen it in all the time I've been testing uh, builds on the Surface Go and on previous on other devices as well so I can't say it's too um, it's all the time. Um, Another change of this build is over here in the language settings. There's some shortcuts now to show you um, sort of regular use tasks, and you can see the state of everything. You can quickly change the keyboard, and uh, you've got these icons down here. There's a number of known issues and usual known issues and fixes. So what else have we got on the lifestyle.com this week? If you're a Windows Mixed Reality user, then there was an issue with Mixed Reality um, blurriness so you've got your mixed reality virtual reality headset on and it looks a bit blurry when you're running this 1903 update Microsoft acknowledges it's a, a known issue and they're gonna have a fix for it but you're gonna have to wait slightly it's not ready yet so um, if you're seeing that then you, at least you know there is a fix coming Microsoft are currently recommending not to upgrade it uh, but it's a bit late for a lot of people if you've already installed it months ago like I have um, also in the updates as well, if you've got the October update, the, they released a patch for that as well. Uh, just the regular monthly service updates for that, like they did for the May update last week. Over on the Digital Lifestyle show this week, that's our regular hour-long podcast where we go into a lot more detail. Uh, we talked about the new bills. We also talked about the uh, new Xbox that's coming out next year, Project Scarlet. So we went into a bit of detail about that. We discussed also the different game passes that are available and all the different features that are available of those you know some are games some are for xbox some are for pc so we cleared that up as well okay so that's my news recap for this week new cortana looking good you need the latest insider build to have that but um windows 10 um, as ever 
new features coming slowly but uh, looking quite good so you can email me in at thislifestyle.com i sticks on twitter you can find me on the thanks for watching this video